Okay, so welcome to my tutorial on making plugins for RS Buddy. Now, to make plugins, you need to have some knowledge of programming, mainly Java, since that's what the plugins are going to be based on, since RS Buddy is based on Java. So, yeah, you need to know Java, and it helps if you know XML, but it's not really needed. You can still follow the tutorials and make a plugin if you don't know XML or extensible markup language, but if you know it, it'll definitely help. So, for these uh, series, I'm going to be using the IDE called IntelliJ IDEA. Now, it's a paid software, but there's a free version. I'm not sure if it supports all the features in here, but there is a free version. Um, and basically, you can edit XML files in this, as well as Java compile files. And it's also really easy to set up your project. So if you want to upload to GitHub and compile at the right spot, so um, or right location, so that you don't have to like copy and paste the files every time to test the plugin. This program is great. So right now I'm going to create a new project. Make sure you select Java module. Now you want to browse to anywhere you want really. I'll just uh, stick with documents and press OK. Uh, rename the project to like RS Buddy or something. And here we'll put RS Buddy and hit next yeah just press ok if that comes up and press finish now this is uh, what you'll get once you start a new project now first what we need to uh, do is include the RS Buddy API into the project so to do this um, on IntelliJ, on Eclipse, or maybe NetBeans, it might not be the same, but you click the full uh, project and press F4. You go to mod Modules, Dependencies, and you click this little plus button here, and you choose Jars or Directories. Now you need to browse to whatever your username is, and go to the RS Buddy folder created here on the first time you start up RS Buddy and go to lib which stands for library and select API OK apply and now you can actually start making or um, yeah you can actually compile our study projects but um, I'm just gonna add this in here um, if in case you're wondering how to make it easier for github and um, easier to test uh, plugins so what I do is in your documents.github or document slash github uh, make a new folder basically a new repository and we'll just call this RS buddy and this is how I organize my projects I make different folders in here for each project that I make so right now let's just say this will be called tutorial part one and basically you've created that folder there now go into RS buddy press F4 again and go to paths no actually go to sources add content root click this go to that folder you just created RS buddy tutorial part one and you want to click this sources so you can actually make sources or uh, Java files in this folder uh, and click apply. Next thing we'll change is the compile path. So be, by default it's inherit project compile output path. You want to change this to use module compile output path and select choose this and go to your RS Buddy folder which is in your username and RS Buddy and here you can make a new folder it'll set, it'll help uh, organize your um, plugins so I'll just call this um, I don't know my plugins and select OK 
and apply so basically if you do this you can actually just um, what do you call it you don't have to copy in, or um, when you try to add a plugin I'm just losing my words now if you try to add a plugin you don't have to browse your documents every time and find it you can just uh, click plugins since by default when you try to add a plugin it goes to the RS Buddy folder and you can just press the plugins folder and choose a plugin from there now I'm pretty sure that's all we need to do from here and press OK now first thing we need to do is this new source folder we created here tutorial part 1 we'll create a new XML file so I'll call this plugin dot XML and what we need to do here is start with some plugin tags next we need to name the plugin I'll just call mine tutorial can't spell today and next we need version just do the, leave this as 1.0 next we need class which I'll leave blank for now since we haven't created our Java class yet and lastly we need paths and in this we need some path tags you don't actually need anything in here if your path or your class is in your um, in the same directory as your uh, XML file which I guess that's terrible exp exp that's a terrible explanation but yeah so next what we need to do is make a new package packages are recommended um, just to make it more organized we'll call this classes and here we'll make a new Java class we'll just call this tutorial by the way, I know you're not supposed to really call it classes, but it's not traditional how you make Java packages, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so what we need to do is make this extend a widget plugin base, and it'll automatically import that, and now you press Alt-Enter and implement the methods. You can take this comment out if you want. You don't really need it. and next what we need to do is alright we need to do a public void or no public tutorial which is um, this must match your class name so this tutorial must match your class name and what we add here is super this is just to name your plugin you need uh, four strings in here I'll explain what they are uh, did I do something wrong? Got two commas there okay um, so this would be what your plugin is called so let's just keep this tutorial and these are basically image paths to images that are used in your um, plugin so what I think they are mouse up hover and mouse down um, I can verify those later in another tutorial and next what we uh, actually I think that's all we we need for right now so we'll compile all this as you can see it's all saved in github so if you want to just upload from here you can and at the same time in your RS Buddy folder your my plugins it's saved it as a class file and the plugin.xml so if we open up RS Buddy Um, go to the settings right here and if you haven't already 
make sure you have develop mode, developer mode turned on so make sure it's to the right and go to developer mode right here and add and this is what I meant by default it goes to the RS buddy folder next go to my plug ings since I couldn't spell and just choose a plugin right here open oh right that's what I forgot I forgot to actually add the class in there so we go to plugin.xml go to our, our package name classes dot tutorial and compile it again control shift F9 and let's go back here add the plugin plugin.xml hmm must have done something wrong now okay so what I actually did wrong was um, forget forgot to add the path here so what if you followed what I did, you just add the two forward slashes, which refers to root. So if we go back here and go to developer mode, add, or actually I forgot to compile it, control shift F9, and you just choose add, plugins.xml, that comes up right there. Your plugin has been added. Go to plugins, there's your plugin. Now it won't do anything, I'll tell you that, because we actually haven't added any code. But that's how you view plugins. So next tutorial I'll work on um, how you can actually make something show up and how you can make it like how you can make a button there or something or print out something. Um, but this is the first tutorial and it's over.